Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to answer some of the questions that I received um, from the last tutorial showing you how to make stickers and sticker sheets. So what I'm going to do is copy one of these cups that we saved in the previous videos, and I'm going to copy it onto a new artboard so that I can show you close up what I'm doing. So I'm just going to highlight the one with the offset and do a control C or edit copy and then open a new window. So it's untitled. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and save it as so I'm going to just save it into my same folder as cup work. Okay. So now I'm going to paste. So that's edit, paste, or control V the cup onto my screen. And let's pull it over here onto the artboard or canvas. Okay, one thing um, I use Adobe products for graphic design work. So I'm used to the area that you are working on being called an artboard or canvas. So you'll hear me switch between those terms from time to time, but it basically means the area designed for you to work in, basically. Um, so we're working on eight and a half by 11 page. So this is our artboard or our canvas where we do our artwork. So. Okay, one of the questions that I received was um, how I was moving the graphic over or up or down one little increment at a time. And I think she thought I said to use a space bar, but I was actually referring to the arrow keys on the keyboard. So you have an arrow key that goes to the left, to the right, up and down. And then depending on how your keyboard is set up, I'm not exactly sure where that will be located, but it's probably somewhere on the right hand side and it may be um, mixed in. If you have the, uh, the number pad on the right hand side, it may be a part of that number pad. But anyway, once you locate that, you can use the up and down arrows just to move things just a little bit. So, and I use that a lot because I like to be able to count how many spaces I move something. That way, if I need to move multiple items, then I can go and count how many spaces for each one. So let's say I want to move this over a few spaces to the right. Then I just use the right arrow key. And as you can see, it's barely moving. But if I wanted to do multiple cups, I could do each one and move them over just a hair. And then I have the option to go up, and you can go as fast or as slow as you want. <laughs> I can go down, and I can go back to the left. So again, I was not using the space bar to do that. If I have this highlighted and I use the space bar, nothing happens, okay? So that's one thing. The other thing was um, someone was trying to move the object and thought that I was using this circle with the crosshairs in it on the center, but I was not. I was just clicking somewhere on the object, so just anywhere on the object to move it. It doesn't have to be in the center. So actually, moving, clicking on this and moving it relocates the center of the object. So what, what this actually is, is showing you, okay, this is the center horizontally and vertically of whatever object you're working with. If you want to rotate this object, so I would go up here to the green dot, you see that, and place the mouse over it, you see how it turns into a circle? If I click and hold, then I can rotate that object around to any position that I want. And that rotation is based on the center of the object. So if I move the center, say I move it up here, when I rotate, it's going to be based on wherever that circle and crosshair are located. So it's not 
rotating on, on the center is rotating on this. I, I don't remember what the name of this is. I did take graphic design, so forgive me. It's been years ago, but I don't remember the name of it. But I'm just calling it the circle with the crosshairs, and you'll know what I mean. So it's really meant to be in this center, so it kind of snaps back when you put it back. So let's say I just put it right here on the bottom of the cup. Again, when I go up here to the little green dot to rotate, it's going to base my rotation on where the circle with the crosshairs is located. So I hope that makes sense. Um, if you still have questions, as always, let me know down in the comments. If you have any comments, you are welcome to leave a comment always. I appreciate them, and it lets me know that you are watching and that possibly these tutorials are helping. And I guess that's it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and also the bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.